Hi guys, I'm gonna share the dreams and the visions that I saw from the Lord, okay? So I have good ones, I have really, really bad ones. And there is something I have to preach, which is very, very important in this hour. So I wanna start with something that is uh, negative. And many people know about it and I'm gonna keep repeating it because I keep seeing that so i saw darkness again right god showed me darkness i told you before in the other video that i saw explosion in the spirit so uh what, what it means events like that you know uh it means military events right it means disasters it means problems troubles you know the crisis unfortunately sorrow and pain because i saw darkness so i you know and uh, i was with the holy spirit together in that vision he was with me i came out and for example it, it was about my country but it's gonna be around the world what god showed me it's gonna be around the world i saw explosion in the spirit and immediately everything shut down everything became black like it was just shut like a uh, neighborhood after neighborhood the light was going off 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 so you know that you know what means darkness we know what darkness uh, represents it's really really bad right the black color uh, morning sorrow pain and my home had light like I got so scared in that vision but then I saw my light my house had light and nothing happened to my home so you know and this is what it's gonna be for all the children of god we're gonna shine our light the other day i was telling my friend something about the light that is inside us and i did not realize that it was prophetic and i was led by the spirit so i have to you know release it i have to speak about it so God has been showing me number 38 in the spirit and I will not go into that in this vision right in this video but 38 it represents righteousness it represents righteousness and what he he showed me about the righteousness is the light and I was reading uh, about it and it speaks about yeah, I don't want to go into that but I will say in a very short way you know, when God created the earth and everything, he says, let there be light. And it was before he created the sun. And what means light? It means righteousness. It means good. It means righteousness. That's the light. And he separated the light and the darkness. So we are the righteousness of God. We are the light. The other day, God gave me a vision of torch. We will live in these dark times we will leave people to christ people will be drawn to that light in that darkness people like always in the darkness people try to find the light to lead them right and that's what's gonna be how it's gonna be these kind of events even though they are gonna be so horrible for some people for some nations, guys, it's going to be really, really horrible for some people and nations. But a lot of people will come to Christ because He is raising His army, the army that will shine the light, the righteous light, the righteousness, and people will come to Christ. So I saw really, really bad stuff. And at the same time, God is showing me, He's giving me visions of blessings of amazing things of glorious things that God is doing in the church in the body of Christ so it's it was another confirmation for me I used to say that the blessings and the judgment and the evil things you know bad events they will happen at the same time God is reminding me God is reminding me the dream that I saw and I will post the video of that dream it was like more vision about train crash about train crash that things will crash yes he's reminding me of that that he showed me things will crash right things will crash but nothing will happen to us 
and don't forget to pray Psalm 91 because he shows me Psalm 91 all the time. So the good things and the bad things, they will come at the same time. They will come at the same time. So we're going to be blessed. And unfortunately, a lot of people will go, will have a very, very dark times of their lives and the countries and nations. So uh, then I'm, I'm going to speak about righteousness, right? So I'm telling you 100%, God wants people to repent. Who's always telling you that you can live in sin and nothing will happen to you. That is a lie. God wants people to repent because the only way not to be affected by evil is to be saturated, to be rooted in Jesus Christ in the blood, and be saturated with the blood of Jesus and righteous life. And listen, this is what I told to my friend and that's why I was led by the Spirit and I have to say that I have to release it. It is written, the angel of the Lord and comes round about them, they fear him and delivers them. The fear of God. What means the fear of God? It's, it's the honor, it's respect, it's the irreverence. When you have a fear of God, you will not go into sin. You see, Bible says that there is a promise of total protection, preservation for the righteous. Even though we have righteousness of Jesus Christ, we are not allowed to live the life of sin. We are not allowed. Because, I said before, God showed me that sin opens the door to the enemy, first of all. Sin opens the door to the devil. Any sin you are committing willingly, without repentance, it opens the door. The enemy goes in the, and then when disaster catches you, you cannot blame God. You cannot blame God. Some people go through warfare and attacks and you might ask why God allows. Some people, you know, in this, in people, uh, sometimes God allows to teach us a lesson, but there are times when God allows to show you that somewhere you need to repent. So even though we are covered by the blood and we are righteousness of God, we cannot leave our doors open to the enemy and to the sin because sin breaks the hedge of protection. I saw how the enemy breaks the hedge of protection. I saw enemy breaking it because there is a sin. If you live in willful sin, it means you have no fear of God. If you have no fear of God, there will be no angel of the Lord that will encamp around you to deliver you from disaster. So God is telling everybody to repent. Repentance is needed. I'm gonna give another word okay and listen it is so powerful for the Lord loves judgment forsake not his saints they are preserved forever but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off but listen to that the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein, therein forever the mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom is your mouth does your mouth speak wisdom and his tongue talks of judgment so you see when we talk we have to be very careful what we talk about what comes out of our mouth like jesus says what goes in does not defile a person but what comes out because what comes out of your mouth is what's in your heart listen to that the law of his God is in his heart. 
none of his steps shall slide. You see, there is always condition to protection. There is always condition to preservation. It is written, the law of God is in his heart. And then the Lord will not leave him in the hand of the enemy, nor condemn him when he is judged. It says, wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see. It's King James Version. So do you see what the Bible says? The Bible says that God will not, surely God will never leave us nor forsake us. But if we choose evil ways, if we choose the devil, if we choose sin, the preservation and protection will not be our portion. The, the disaster might catch us. Yes, there is mercy of God, there is compassion, there is grace, but we cannot abuse it. We cannot abuse it. So this is what I saw. I, I am not perfect, but I have fear of God and my, my prayer for the Lord to lead me in the narrow paths and help me not to sin and to live, you know, lives of righteousness so that I can enter the narrow gate. That is my prayer. And God sees our heart, right? Even there are things we struggle with, but God sees our heart. And that's why I saw darkness. And that's why I saw, I saw earthquakes. I saw volcanoes. I saw tsunamis. I saw tornadoes, whirlwind of God. I saw military events. I saw invasions. I saw so many evil things that will happen. I saw people just dying. I saw people that I saw people dropping dead just like that. But in that darkness, those who live in righteousness, those who shut their doors to the enemy, those who do not allow darkness in their lives, in their, you know, in their souls, they will shine their light and disaster will not touch you. It will not catch you. It cannot because your life is in the hands of God. But and, and the thing is, it's so interesting. Even my mother, she sent me a message with confirmation. You know, my mother, I believe, um, she also has prophetic gift. She did not use that gift. Where she was born, nobody spoke about Christ. She never knew. So anyway, but until now, she sees prophetic dreams and visions, and she saw the blessings. The night when I saw disasters, I saw disasters, right? I saw the darkness. And I saw my house had light. The same time, the same night, my mother, she saw blessings. And she saw good news. Like literally, she saw good news. The good news, the good things are coming for the people of God. And interestingly, it's going to be at the same time. So we need to repent. Uh, what our prayer should be from all the prayers that we make one of the most prayers that we can pray for the Lord to live lead us in the righteousness I will give you the verse one of the things I pray Psalm 5 it is written as for me I will come unto thy house in multitude of thy mercy and in thy fear will I worship toward the holy temple we need to fear god and worship him in spirit and the truth in reverence and in fear and then it says lead me lord in your righteousness because of our enemies because of my enemies because of my enemies sorry because i always pray this for my family and you know in my mind is always i pray lord lead us in your righteousness always us you know make our way straight before our face let those that put their trust in you rejoice and let them shout for joy because you defend them. And let them that love your name be joyful in you, Lord, for you will bless the righteous. With favor you will compass him as with a shield. As with a shield, the favor of God is like a shield. So, and it is written in Psalm 7, Verse 10, my defense is of God, which saves the upright in the heart. 
Again. This is my Bible. This is how I study. This is how I study the Word of God. You see what the Bible says. So, please choose the righteousness. Sin is not going to do any good. God wants people to repent. Please repent before it's too late. Don't let disaster catch you. God bless you.